matters and a local immigration attorney is opening his own shop in the heart of Hillcrest staffed by dreamers. Because why not? They're hardworking, they're great people and we want to support that. 10 News consumer reporter John Horn explains why that attorney believes his hires will put his place over the top. The shop's promising a new spin on everything from espressos to lattes, but it's also hoping to make a big impact on the people who take your order. Jacob Saposhnik isn't your typical coffee shop owner. He's also an immigration attorney who came to the U.S. 20 years ago. He says he'll hire anyone qualified to work at the couch, but he's hoping to recruit those looking for a little certainty in the world. We're going to start a campaign offering our kitchen positions and some, some of our baristas for people that have DACA. DACA, or Deferred Action Childhood Arrival. President Obama launched it in 2012, because giving two-year work permits to people living here illegally since childhood. But last month, President Trump announced he was phasing out the program, calling it unconstitutional. Now he wants Congress to come up with a solution. Still, Saposhnik, who has represented dreamers, sees an opening. And for me as an employer now, I feel that I can benefit from a DACA employee because they're determined, they're hardworking, and they really appreciate the opportunity. An opportunity, he says, is not just for them, but him as well. John Horn, 10 News. Now, Dreamers had until October 5th to apply for a two-year renewal. Sapnichik says that he has nearly 10 openings in the kitchen and for baristas. And we have more information on this coffee shop and the DACA program on 10news.com.